try to guess how it's even possible that a cherry orchard in the desert of all places is able to irrigate all of its cherry trees without there being a single pipe in the orchard. So roughly 1,000 feet upslope from where I'm currently standing lies an irrigation ditch. Connecting from the rows to the irrigation ditch are a series of drip line diversion channels. Now the drip line diversion channels are channels that are cut into the earth three to four inches deep in this case, about eight to 10 inches wide. And at the drip line on each side, east and west of each individual cherry tree and run down slope from the irrigation ditch, falling about 20 feet over the course of this thousand feet at roughly 2% grade off contour. That water flows down as it keeps flowing and irrigating deeply into the active rooting zone of each individual tree. Any overflow enters then into this exit channel, which then flows into this drive-through that was constructed to allow vehicles to still drive through on the road without obstructing the flow of this water and vice versa, before finally entering into this irrigation canal. This is how a cherry orchard in Southwestern Idaho is able to functionally irrigate all of their cherry trees without the usage of any external supplemental irrigation materials such as drip lines, pipes, overhead sprinklers, and instead focus on design, some earthwork techniques, and gravity. There you have it.